This is selected card at any random number. Using a uh, shuffle deck, borrow deck, uh, completely unprepared deck, this is an impromptu bit of magic. Um, a spectator freely selects any card from a deck. Uh, the deck is then dribbled, the spectator says stop, that's where the card goes, uh, and it's shown for other spectators to see. Um, the, the cards are then immediately handed out for the spectator to, to shuffle. Um, and they can shuffle for as little or as long as they want. When the deck is handed to me, I have no idea uh, what that card might be. If I were to then look through the deck and find their card, uh, then that, that would be a great trick in itself. Um, but that's, uh, that, that's, that's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the spectator to cut the pack. They take one half. I take the other, and we're going to uh, we're, we're, we're going to shuffle the deck, um, and I'm going to show them a really fair way of shuffling. What we do is we deal a few cards down, and then we cut, and then we deal another few cards, and then we cut, and then another few cards, and then we cut and then another few cards, and then we cut, and we keep on going until we've run out of cards. So they do that with theirs, I do that with mine, until we've run out. And they do the same with theirs, but just for quickness, I'm going to give them a quick overhand shuffle. We then combine the cards together, and it's time to sort out the random number. And to do this I'm going to get four numbers from between one and ten off separate spectators, or if there's only one spectator off, off, off them. Um, the first number, let's say they say six, and then I ask for another number between one and ten, let's say they say three, and then another um, number, let's say they say eight, and then another number, let's say they say five. Now we have the four numbers. To make sure that it's random, I'm going to go back to the spectator who selected the card, and I'm going to ask them if they want to choose another number, or do they want to stick with what they have there. We don't have a spectator, so I'm going to use a coin. Um, heads is going to be choose another number, tails is going to be stick where it is. So we flip the coin, and we have heads. We're going to choose another number. Let's say we go for four. And we add those up. Six plus three is nine, plus eight is seventeen, plus five is, uh, is twenty-two, plus four is twenty-six. Okay, so we have a freely selected card in a shuffled deck, shuffled again by the spectator, shuffled again, a random number chosen. And now I'm not going to touch that deck at all. It's all in the spectator's hands. They are going to count down 26 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And now we have the 26th card. If it was another one, it would have been the Jack of Hearts. If it was the one before, it would have been the Four of Hearts. If it was the next one, it would have been the Nine of Spades. But the 26th card down is their selected card, the Four of Diamonds. It works every time with a borrowed or shuffled deck, with a randomly freely chosen card, with a randomly freely chosen number in the spectator's hands. That is selected card at any random number.